What's up guys, kaise ho aap sab? In today's video, we'll be discussing about 5 ways by which college students can earn money while staying in college. Now obviously this would not be a lot of money, but you can pay a part of your fees and make your parents proud. So let's see what they are. Now right off the bat, uh, first thing is YouTube. Now YouTube bahut pay nahi karta hai, uh, let me warn you. I've been doing YouTube for 3 years and until now, this is how much I've earned. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's around... 11,700 rupees after three years on YouTube. Uh, right now my channel is getting a bit of traction which allows me to earn around 2.5k every single month but apart from that it's not a major source of income for any college student. Still it's a small source of income and more importantly like I don't do this for money. It helps you build a great audience, it helps you get support and also build a good clout for yourself. So yeah YouTube is a minor source of income. If you want to try that go give it a shot. Uh, college mein you can make a lot of videos, you have a lot of content or just film yourself, just document whatever you see and uh, that way you can build a good audience. Method number two is freelancing. Now by far, ye hai best method of earning money as a college student. A lot of my friends, even including me, I used to freelance. Theke? So uh, freelance mein, there are a lot of components. So first let's talk about design. Theke? So uh, if you know how to use Photoshop or Premiere Pro, then you're set. Okay, so when I was in college, mein tha, I used to know how to do Photoshop and I got a few clients from the US and I was doing cover design for their books on Photoshop. So uh, for each cover, I used to get paid around $200 and I made three covers in like a month. So I was able to pull off $600 by just knowing how to use Photoshop. So learn to use Photoshop or Premiere Pro and then go to some uh, websites like Upwork.com or Freelancer.com or Fiverr.com and go websites some and take some clients le lena, and once you have few clients, you can make a good freelancing career. Ban sakta hai. Second way of freelancing is to learn to code. Right, so uh, mostly I'm going to talk about web development. So if you know how to use frameworks like React or Node, then you can become a front-end or back-end uh, developer. Okay, it's not much time. It will take you like minimum, maximum two months to learn a particular framework. Once you learn a framework, just like I said, go to Fiverr, Upwork, Freelancer, go to any site. And there are a lot of jobs there that I need this website, this website. You have to bid it and you have to bid it for example, if someone has put up a post saying I need, a, uh, I need an e-commerce site or I will bid and I'll do it for 10,000 rupees or then he'll give the job to me or I'll have to deliver and I'll get paid. So it's as simple as that. Uh, freelancing is a great opportunity. Bahut sare college students around the world do it and uh, if it works out well, A, you get experience, mil rahe, B, if it works out well, then you can see in the future mein a career option jaise bhi dekh sakte ho a lot of people freelance full time so freelancing mein maza aata hai right ghar pe baithna hai aur bas code karna hai kahi office office jana nahi padta hai to it's pretty cool third way of earning money is to teach online abhi you are j and bits as students right so agar aapne aap, if you graduate if you go to a good college then you get the credibility to teach someone kyunki aapko ek example deta hu kalpit veerwal wo j means mein jisne full laya tha he started a YouTube channel, uh, I don't think it's called a cat boost or something. And then he started to teach himself and then he started to sell a course. Uh, his course, I think it costs around 7,000 or something. So uh, he had the credibility, right? He scored 360 and 360 score in the J.E. Means. Then he started a YouTube channel and then he started to sell and then he started selling his course. So even this is a good option. Now, another way to earn is to use something like check. Okay, so check is a platform where students doubt doubts and you get paid to solve their doubts. So I think a lot of people, like around 50% of my college does this. So uh, you know, you make an account on check and uh, you have a lot of questions rahenge, you answer those questions and you get paid for that. I think around 60 rupees get her answer her question to answer her question. So a lot of college students across the world uh, are on check or a lot of questions answer karte and they get paid. So you can give that a shot as well. On top of that, you guys have given JE. You are preparing for It's one of the toughest exams in the world. So if you if you know the JE concepts, then you know answering questions on check becomes very very simple. 
another way of earning money is digital marketing. Uh, I used to do this during um, the second semester of my first year. A company tha and they used to give me a certain amount of money and I used to spend that on Facebook ads and Google ads. So if you have a product and you want to run ads for that, then you can give that a shot as well. Now, let me give you a word of warning. There are many courses that are paid for digital marketing. Ke. Kisi ko bhi mat lena, sab scam hai wo, uh, they'll just you know take your money, zyada kuch padate nahi hai. Zyada tar cheeze you can learn for free on YouTube, so don't pay for digital marketing courses. Tai Lopez type ka yo scam hai thoda. Another way of earning money, this is what, probably the one that will give you the most amount of exposure to the industry and the most amount of experience uh, whatsoever. It's starting your own startup during college. Now let me tell you why college is the best time to start your own company. Now remember, college ke time pe you are uh, dependent on your parents, aapke parents, aapke financials ka dhyan rakhe, or you are mostly secured for the next four years of your life. Pretty much, okay? Uh, now, if you start up, zada, zada capital invest mat karna. If you start up and if you fail, to zada kuch hone nahi wala. Your parents are anyway gonna support you, or aapka degree mili jayega, then you can obviously go for a job later. So there's nothing wrong in starting up. It's very low risk, or zada kuch matlab you don't have anything to lose. So if you have a great idea, if you have a solution to a big problem, then start up, do something, form a team. Team formation is also very easy. College mein bahut smart log rehte hai. Gather them, uh, you know, resor uh, allocate resources or start a company. It's as simple as that. If it doesn't work, nothing, nothing. You have nothing to lose. If it works, then well and good. You have a career set for you. Uh, now, abhi imagine karo ki ab graduate ho chuke ho. Four saal baad, if you start up, then आपके पास बहुत responsibilities रहता है जैसे family pressure. आप मतलब बहुत सारे responsibilities रहेंगे. So if you fail, then बहुत risky रहेगा. So it's better to start off in college, experiment and fail rather than you know graduating and failing which might lead to a lot of economical problems. A fun fact, in my second year, my friend and I uh, started a startup called Hewlock Chatbots. So, we didn't make a lot of money, but uh, it was quite a bit. So, I mean, the chatbots have seen, right? There's a pop-up websites mein se pop up hota hai aur it says, how can I help you today? So, we made such things. But the experience, the exposure that we got was incredible. We used to have calls with people in the US, Turkey, Ukraine, uh, Dubai. We talked to many people and it gave us a really good industrial experience. So, yeah, start a startup. It accelerates your growth. In 3-4 months, you learn a lot. So, yeah, it's one of the best ways. Our pitch was something like this when we used to pitch. So uh, I'll play the video. And uh, we provide um, chatbots on different platforms, WhatsApp, chatbots, Messenger and website based. Now let me give you another word of caution. You will get a lot of videos on YouTube about like how to earn money, do affiliate marketing, karo, wo karo. but it's not that easy. Okay? Get rich, quick, uh, schemes, jo bhi hai, all of them are scams. Wo aap se paise le lenge and you'll lose everything. Earning money is difficult, it's, it's a gradual process, it takes experience, it takes a lot of investment. So, it takes a lot of time. Lagta hai. To, you know, it's said that it takes at least 10 years to become a millionaire. So, be patient and don't you know, do something that gets you cash really quickly. Uh, aim for the long term thing and think long term, only then, uh, you know, the chances of you making a fortune would increase. So that's my word of advice. Uh, with that, I conclude. Tai Lopez ka koi course mat lena, all of them are scams. Uh, and hope this video got, gave, gave you some insights. And I'll see you in the next one. Uh, do let me know if you have any ideas about earning money. I'll reply to that comment, uh, giving my opinions on that. So see you guys. Do subscribe, do hit the like button. Helps a lot. YouTube algorithm will promote my video. And I'll earn more money. <laughs> see you. Bye.